Hello everyone, today I'm going to be briefly discussing and analyzing the new trailer for the upcoming French film Nicky Larson, which is a live-action adaptation of the French localized version of the anime City Hunter. I know this whole bit of like reacting trailers, giving things that you missed, or all that jazz is kind of a bit played out at this point, but I just want to do this just to give my thoughts on this trailer since it's something I really don't do very often or ever for that matter, and it's been a movie I've been looking forward to for quite a while, based on an anime and property that I love very much. Before I start actually talking about the trailer and what's in it, I just gotta note a few things. First off, that this is a discussion analysis of the current French trailer that at the time of this recording has no official English subtitles save for whatever YouTube can conjure up in the annotation. So this means I'll be largely going off of the visuals and physical actions taking place in the trailer when talking about my analysis, which isn't totally bad considering that there is not a whole lot of dialogue in this trailer, and I think from the annotations I can get a basic gist as to what is happening in the trailer itself. And one more thing, just in case this is an issue that anyone wants to bring up, this is not a case of quote unquote whitewashing of the City Hunter franchise because this is a largely white cast. This is an adaptation of the French localized version of City Hunter called Nicky Larson, which changed the names and dubbing of the show to be more accessible to a French audience. Ryu Seiba became Nicky Larson, Kyoya Makimura became Laura Marconi, Seiko Nagami became Helene Lamberti, and so on. So this is not a case of adapting characters who are supposed to be native Japanese into white characters. Not to mention that none of the prior adaptations of City Hunter, even the one that stuck with the Japanese nomenclature, had native Japanese actors portraying the lead character. Both of the Hong Kong films casted Chinese actors, and the K-drama casted a Korean actor. I doubt this will be an issue that causes controversy because this franchise isn't as widely popular around the world as it is in France or Japan. Regardless, I guess I just wanted to address this issue out front before some silly article tries to make some big deal out of nothing. Which shouldn't happen because it would be probably written by someone who has no idea about the context of the situation or anything about the franchise for that matter. Now onto my actual thoughts about the trailer and everything in it. Now aside from what I consider to be a rather questionable usage of a DMX song, I feel that the trailer was overall pretty good and gave me a lot of hope and good feeling for the final product. First things first, the characters. Now, it's hard to get a feel for their entire personalities based on the fact that this trailer is about less than two minutes long. However, I feel that for the most part, they got it down good if what we saw in the trailer is a good sign of things to come. Nikki slash Ryo is his pervy and humorous self. Laura slash Kaori is of course annoyed and angered by this. So it's good to see that they are keeping this dynamic in the movie. There are a lot of moments where I feel the trailer shows scenes that could have been lifted straight from the manga or anime. Such as Laura finding Nikki's stash of erotic magazines, Nikki trying his best to get a look at a nurse's thighs, and one particular scene that seems to be directly inspired by one of the anime's most iconic moments. Now I'm not gonna lie, even with the somewhat strange music choice, seeing this scene just really, really made me happy. It really was such a joy to see them recreate what I felt was one of the coolest moments from the show and put it into live action. Now on to character designs. Now from what I can see, we only get a look at Nikki, Lara, and Ubibozu, who is called Mammoth in the French localization. And all I can say is, oh man. They really nailed their looks. Of all the live action adaptations of this property I've seen so far, this is by far the most faithful in terms of character design and looks. The only one that I think even compares is the unofficial Hong Kong City Hunter movie Mr. Mumble. Everything from the hairstyle to clothing choices is on point. Nikki has his signature light blue blazer, black pants, and red shirt. Laura has her signature tomboyish look and style, and Mammoth is pretty much perfect as far as I'm concerned. I have seen some criticisms that they look like cosplay, but I mean, I guess, because it's accurate to the manga and anime, but if that's the case, it is damn good cosplay if it looks like that. They actually look like the characters that they're supposed to be portraying, which while may not be 100% indicative of a good final product, it is a nice touch that is greatly appreciated, and something that I think the Jackie Chan film and the K-drama could have benefited from. 
Now for the rest of the trailer. The basic premise from what I can understand is that Nikki gets an assignment from some man, and over the course of said assignment he clashes with Mammoth, gets into some action set pieces that I talked about earlier, and gets into some pervy antics. So overall, it definitely feels like something you would have seen in the show or manga. Humor is very present in the trailer, and I can see how some people might complain about it and call it inappropriate or lowbrow. Which, I mean, I guess, but I wouldn't call it necessarily unfaithful to the show, considering how there have been many jokes about cross-dressing, sexuality, among other topics. So I really can't fault the movie for that. Although I can say the segment with the two men in the slide did seem a bit weird. But like I said before, even with all the little complaints that I've had so far, I still really, really enjoyed the trailer and I really like the direction that this movie is going in. Of course, this is just the teaser, so there's probably a lot of stuff we're not getting, like any potential dramatic subplots or any other kind of story points. But just based on this, I'm still really excited for the movie. I know that there is this large stigma against live action adaptations of anime and cartoons, but I do think that in the right hands they can be done really well. For example, the Roroni Kenshin trilogy or Mr. Mumble, which was an unofficial adaptation of the City Hunter property. I do believe that Nicky Larson is in good hands and I think based on the promotional materials and trailer that we have gotten so far, we are going to get a solid, faithful, and in my opinion, good adaptation of the City Hunter franchise. So yeah, those are all my thoughts. Hopefully this video was informative and entertaining, and thank you for watching.